there was a mugshot of a man uh, that circulated on the internet. It went viral. And it featured a guy who uh, some believe is Carlos Sosa. That's his name. Um, and uh, there's, the, there's the mugshot. Yeah, well, it's, there you go. That's end of story. It's, okay. it's very That's, disturbing. It's amazing. So you think, like, no, that has to be Photoshopped. That can't be real. But it's completely real. Um, he's referred to as half head man. And we have a video really? of Why? him. <laughs> we, have, we have a video of him explaining how he uh, became deformed. Let's watch. I was barred out on drugs. And I, and I was driving. And I hit a pole. And I flew out the front window and landed on my head. Damn, show everybody what happened. God damn, that's crazy, though. And this is how you got boys come out. That's why it's no good. Drinking and driving, or drug, drug, drugness and driving, no good, kids, no good. And what do you do to every day, Hafi? And every day, what I do daily, burn a stick. You smoke a lot of weed? Obama's the president of y'all United States, and he smokes. Motherfucker has the whole White House grown. Why can't I smoke me one blunt? Yeah, I feel you. I say it. I feel you. Where is he getting his news from, Alex Jones? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, really? Obama's got marijuana in the White House? That would be fascinating. I might actually be encouraged by that. Anyway, look, we can't expect him to make too much sense. But, you know, what, what I, you know, this story would be a lot more serious if he was more hurt. I mean, how much more hurt than you can be than lose half your head? I know. But, he's, but his cognitive abilities are actually okay. That's actually the most amazing part of it. Right. That video goes on and on, and his friend asks him questions about his sex life. Apparently, he's getting laid often uh, by uh, curvy women. Oh, That's his yeah, favorite. apparently he likes chubby women. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, get it, get it, man. Look, yeah. dude, I got to give this guy a world of credit. It, I, I had trouble getting laid with a full head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's going around Miami getting laid with half a head. Okay. And he's like unfazed by it. He's smoking weed, having a good time, getting, you know, the, the kind of play that he wants. And he's sending out a good message to the kids. Yeah. Don't drink and drive. By the way, I thought in the beginning he said, I was janking and driving. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> That's how you get half a head. Yeah. But anyway, I love that he's all right and he's having some fun. Yeah, definitely. And, and it is a serious story and you feel guilty laughing and joking about it, but he seems like a lively guy. And the other thing I'm amazed by is that apparently, look, you can lose a significant chunk of your brain and you don't miss it. Which makes me That's think, amazing. yeah, like maybe we're not fully utilizing our brains. Yeah, we yeah. only use a tiny little percentage of our brains. Did you know that? Not only do I know that, I, when I learned that as a senior in high school, I thought it was the trippiest thing I'd ever heard, uh -huh. right? And I had set out as one of my uh, life goals, which I, by the way, have now put aside. Like, if we're like only use 7% of our brain, and if, or 10% or whatever, we can unlock the other 90%, imagine what we could do.